In this video I'm going to show you how to do green screen image editing. We'll be using a free program called paint.net. First we're going to go over to Google and get a download of paint.net and also if need be we might need the .net framework. I'll show you where that is. Here we'll go to the main paint.net download site and uh, let me move the screen over a little bit for you. Uh, you can see down here it says .NET Framework 3.5 Service Pack 1. You may need that. So keep that in mind. For now we're just going to go to one of the download sites and download the program. We'll also need a plugin called the Paint.NET Chroma Key plugin. Several places to get it and it's a free download. We'll go right here take a look there's several places. I'm going to go to this one here called Softpedia and get a download there. It says chroma key green and there's the download link right there. Now I've downloaded paint.net and the chroma key plugin and now we're going to extract the files to the desktop. So open it up in uh, Windows and extract them, unzip the files. I'm just going to put it right here on the desktop and we'll take a look at the file. There it is right there, the paint.net executable. We'll also unzip or extract the chroma key plugin. Now this plugin is not installed. We'll copy that later and I'll show you where to put it. For now just run and install your paint.net program. Here's our chroma key plugin. We're going to copy this and go over to the installation of paint.net and paste this in a folder. There's my program files and I'm going to look for paint.net. And we're going to paste the plugin in the effects folder and that essentially installs the plugin in the program. Now we're going to start paint.net. You can see the canvas there is blank. I'm going to go to my documents and get two pictures. One is of a green screen photo and the other one is of a vacation of Hawaii. We'll copy those. I'm going to put those right on the desktop and show you just how easy it is to do green screen image editing in this program. Now the first step is we're going to drag and drop Hawaii onto the canvas and choose add into layers. There's my picture, my background picture. Here's our green screen picture. We're going to drag and drop that and also choose add into layers. There we are, what a lovely group. And now we're going to go to the effects, photo and chroma key. And when you click that, there's a plugin with some adjustments and you can see it's already come out quite well. But if you need to make adjustments to increase or reduce the amount of green that's being keyed out, you can use the sliders to make those adjustments. I'm going to go ahead and use the default settings as they seem to be just about right. Also notice that you could key out the blue color as well. Let's click that and look what happens to her 
shirt. You can see the background behind her, right within her shirt. We'll go back to green since that's what we wanted to key out and click OK. The last step is, is we need to save this file. So I'm going to save this in uh, my pictures folder. And I'm typing, giving it a name, Friends in Hawaii, and I will save it as a JPEG. You can see our other two pictures are already there. Click Save, and they'll give you an opportunity to change the quality settings. And then choose Flatten. Blend the two images together. And then you're basically done. Let's go take a quick look and see the completed picture. Friends in Hawaii, and there we are. Our inexpensive staycation courtesy of paint.net.